Y'all, let's get started with the daily read. Okay. I feel like something I, I maybe oil. <laughs> so let's see what messages, what guidance do we have for the day. Cards when come together. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Messages, guidance for the collective. The Hermit card in reverse. Somebody's coming out of hiding, okay? Y'all know I'll be writing notes. I'm coming now. I want the world to know. All right. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? Messages, guidance. King of Wands, Two of Pentacles here. Somebody's back and forth with some energy here. Their focus is off. Um, Knight of Swords here. There could be some movement happening. What messages do we have? We got the Ace of Pentacles. There's a solid ass new opportunity here. Solid ass new opportunity here. Nine Cups is gonna fulfill, gonna be emotionally fulfilling, gonna give you material happiness, um, emotional gains here, and an opportunity that gives emotional gains. King of Swords here with the Moon card here. Someone could fear making some sort of decision. Um, someone could be seeing in the dark, seeing the secrets. Chariot here. There's victory moving forward here. Seven of Wands here, Five of Cups. But someone is defensive because they're dealing with some regret, some um, challenged emotions. So that could be why someone's focus is off. They're back and forth between their desires and their mind here. The Moon card does represent secrets, dreams. Okay. We have the Six of Pentacles here. So there is something that's balancing out. What other messages do we have? Full energy here. Something's balancing out. Someone here is willing to take an opportunity or willing to take a leap of faith if it's reciprocal. So someone wants to balance out a situation. Um, there could be some fear. Someone could fear winning. Someone could fear winning. Eight of Cups here. So in order to take this new opportunity, someone had to walk away from something. Someone had to abandon success or something else. But this is what guidance do we have for the collective? What messages, what guidance do we have? Knight of Swords, moving forward here. So someone's taking a leap of faith. Could be taking a leap of faith, sending a message. This has been long coming. Um, but this is a, it's a solid, you got opportunities here. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. It's an opportunity that's coming in, coming in fast, but it's taken a long time to get here, underneath here. So something took a long time. Like it took someone a long time to get to this point. They could have been back and forth. Could have been um, trying to balance out some foundations. Someone could have been a little chaotic with their actions. Someone was back and forth. Being protective because they were dealing with five cups here. Or still being protective because they're dealing with some hurt feelings here. But they have an opportunity here. Someone has an opportunity here. There's a masculine energy here. King of Wands, King of Swords. Masculine energy. Feeling about chess, y'all. Shit. Like all that was going on, I felt like I had a belch coming up, like it was a bunch of air in my chest, and then I had to yawn. So somebody has to get something out. It's like it's in your chest, but it needs to come through your vocal cords and come the fuck on out. You feel me? Ace of Cup, Ace of Pentacles here with the nine nine of cups. There's an opportunity that's gonna bring material happiness, but somebody is scared to speak. Somebody is scared to speak. King of Swords here with a moon card. So somebody's trying to wants to balance out a situation, but may be afraid to say anything. They maybe they're afraid that they're going to create more conflict than resolutions. So Ace of Pentacles here, like I said, Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity here. The Ace of Pentacles leads to the Ten of Pentacles. It's a journey, no doubt, but the Ace of Pentacles does lead to the uh, Ten of Pentacles. Ace plus six is Seven of Pentacles here. So there's um, some sort of investment that has already the seeds have already been planted. Um, Seven plus two is nine pentacles. The seeds have already been planted to receive some sort of material harvest from this. And I feel like this, whatever this opportunity is, is material harvest. It's nine pentacles, nine cups. It's material harvest and material happiness. But someone is afraid to motherfucking speak. Why is this ace of pentacles here? Will of fortune. Oh, we had this yesterday. Fortunate change, fortunate opportunity here. Sagittarian energy here. There's a new opportunity here. 
The forces of life are at work here. King of Swords here. There's an opportunity here to speak some truth. King of Swords speaks truth. Um, he also, his decision matters. Um, this could also be like, Usually I'd be like, this is legal, but it's not. I don't think this is legal because King of Swords moon card here. This is like someone being very clear about how they feel. So this could also be someone that's expressing their emotions, that's taking a leap of faith and expressing how they feel, but still at a state of being protective because they're dealing with some challenges as well. So Nine of Cups here. Nine of Cups talks about, again, material happiness, mastering your emotions. Why is this Nine of Cups here? We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. That's reckless energy. Knight of Swords in reverse is very impulsive energy. Ooh, Knight of Wands. Somebody coming in fast. Somebody's coming out of hiding. And they're they're coming or they're coming out of hermit mode, coming out of their shell. I'm breaking out and I don't wanna shout. I don't know how the song goes. I'm coming out. <laughs> Somebody come out of their shell moon here very much in their feelings knight of wands here this is very very somebody might be recklessly speaking how they feel taking a leap of faith moving forward or sending some sort of message there's victory in the feelings so someone if you go into the feelings you win but there is some resistance here there's resistance of creating emotional complications either for themselves or for someone else someone wants to reciprocate some sort of energy but not make things worse so that might be why someone's fearing talking king of swords here why is this king of swords here the king of swords is a talker but there's a delay i'm trying to tell you i know what i'm talking about king of swords page of swords there's a delay in words <laughs> uh nine of pentacles here this is like Someone needs to be confident, like someone's won the right to speak their truth. Not a pinnacles in success. So someone has the seeds that have been planted are in fruition here. There's an opportunity here to speak the truth. There's an opportunity here to express feelings. King of Swords moon card, but there's a delay. The delay is someone doesn't want to rush because we got the princess of rushing winds here. Someone doesn't want to rush things. Um, maybe someone feels like they're gonna rush, but there's a guaranteed victory by being honest. Moon card here. Why is this moon card here? The moon card talks about things that are hidden, emotions, secrets, things that are dark. Someone is deeply in love. Moon card here with the nine of cups. Someone is deeply in love. Wow. I'm coming up. I want the world to know. Someone may have just realized this Queen of Swords here. Someone may have just realized that they are deeply in love because the Queen of Swords is becoming very discerning. So someone could have became very discerning Queen of Swords here with the Moon card about their feelings. Um, and their feelings are happiness, material happiness, having it all emotionally. But there's a fear of speaking. There's a fear of being honest. So Cherry here... This is victory moving forward. That's too many. This is victory moving forward, making choices that give you victory. This is a warrior that has fought a battle and has came back victorious. Four of Swords here. So the battle has been within their own mind. Four of Swords here. Someone has been inside of their mind. They won the battle with themselves. Um, Page of Pentacles here. I feel like there is some effort that is being taken, but the Page of Pentacles is small effort. This is like... You know how that, that saying small things to a giant, but not in that way. This is small things to a giant, no doubt. But this giant is scared as fuck. <laughs> They're scared as fuck. I'm going to just be real with you. They're scared as fuck. Like the feelings are there. The confidence is there. But the, the, the what do you say? The execution is not there. There is some fear here. And I don't mean to laugh, but it's cute. It's so cute, but I know, you know, on the, on the other side, it's like, bitch, talk, say something, say something, baby, what did Timberland say? So seven of wands here, there is some resistance. Someone's trying to protect themselves or someone's in the space of being protective. Why is the seven of wands? Because this is very much like protecting my own energy. Why is the seven of wands here? Five of swords here. Someone feels defeated whew, by this opportunity. God damn. Ace of cups here with the universe here. Someone's won something here. But someone feels defeated. Someone feels defeated. This could all be, also be someone cutting someone off because of the way that they feel. 
But I don't see that. I see there's a delay in, in the truth being spoken. I see that there's a delay, maybe even in a decision being cemented out of fear. Someone fears their own happiness. They fear being happy. Seven of Swords here. So someone's defensive and Seven of Swords here could be lying to themselves or creating instability like unstable effort. I said his King of Wands here with the Two of Pentacles. Someone is fo someone's focus is off. They have a, like someone has a lot of desire and they could be back and forth on how to express that desire. There's an opportunity here. It's like, I'm going to be real with you. It's like someone can express their desire through their actions, but not through their words. And that there lies the problem. This could be someone that only knows how to express themselves either through some physical form, meaning either giving physically or giving physically. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, either way, words need to be spoken here. That is the delay in things coming together. Words have to be spoken, but somebody is afraid of their own words of their own feelings five of cups here why is this five of cups here five of cups represents emotional regret it represents challenged emotions it represents changing how you feel seven of wands here so this again i said before i pulled these out together the seven of wands and the five of cups i pulled them out earlier together and they come out together again so someone here is being very resistant um trying to protect themselves from heartbreak trying to trying to protect themselves from having their emotions challenged it's almost like someone is willing to reciprocate and take some sort of leap of faith but only if they know for sure that Whatever, like whatever they're jumping into is going to be reciprocated. This is like someone not saying I love you until the other person says that or not saying or not saying I love you or not saying I want to be with you until they know for sure that that energy will be reciprocated because the six of pentacles here. Someone's someone's protecting themselves from heartache unless they know something is reciprocal. You got to take a chance, baby. All right. Three of Cups in here. This could also be someone resisting a third party, resisting um, some sort of. Yeah. No, 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 no. Someone, someone was resisting getting their heart broke by a third party. King of Pentacles here. Suspension. Someone was in suspension because they got their heart broke by a third party. Not because they didn't want to. They got their heart broke previously. Someone is dealing with some sort of regret, emotional regret from a third party. So someone got their heart broke from somebody else and is resistant now to moving towards something that they really are deeply emotionally invested into there's a resistance because they don't want their heart broke again they want to make sure that something's reciprocal before they take a leap of faith and there's a leap of faith here so six of pentacles here why is the six of pentacles here six of pentacles represents reciprocal energy here we got page of pentacles so someone is willing to reciprocate some energy and take some sort of effort if they become aware that that energy is, this is like, I will if you will. So somebody's willing to jump off the ledge if you will. <laughs> this is like, like it's cute, but it's almost like, this is like a teenage love affair. It's like, do you love me? And if you say, yeah, I love you too. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'll jump if you jump. You remember? Or I'll drop my hoes if you drop your hoes. That type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have all of my hoes. No way. I'm going to just be real. That's a waste of time unless that's just the life you choose. But... Six of Pentacles here with the Page of Pentacles. Someone is willing to invest. Someone is willing to reciprocate some energy if effort is being shown. Same. You know what I'm saying? Full energy here. That is a leap of faith. I feel like someone is going to become aware that the energy will be reciprocated. And I don't know if it's something that, that maybe they're doing something. Um, 
saying something here. So this person might speak. They may there may be some challenges associated with this, but this person might speak a little bit of how they feel. And there's victory here. They're going to be able to rest from that strife once the truth is spoken, once the deep feelings are expressed. But there's a resistance to just accepting it all at one time because of prior heartbreak. There's resistance to that. So full energy here. Why is this full energy here? This is a new beginning. Three of cups here. There's a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles here. Someone here has taken an opportunity here. There's a celebration here. There, this leads to abundance. This new beginning leads to abundance. Now, you know, the Red Cups does have a negative connotation, but on this full energy, I don't I do not feel like it's multiple people here. I do not feel like it's multiple people. I feel like someone's taking a, a opportunity here to have some sort of abundance. This can be like going on a date, maybe someone asking someone on a date, and if they accept it's like okay we can go from here um but there is definitely ace of pentacles was the first card out and that on that full energy here there's an opportunity here that's being presented and the will of fortune the forces of life are in motion and someone is going to take that opportunity there's a movement forward that is happening knight of swords so knight of swords represents uh thinking being methodical it represents uh thoughts it represents taking an opportunity like Maybe someone is throwing an idea out there and, and, you know, it's an idea that you can accept. This represents messages coming in, someone delivering some sort of message. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Star. Aquarian energy here. Wish fulfillment. Someone's moving toward wish fulfillment. And let me tell you what I see here. Ace of Wands here, Knight of Cups here, and that Ace of Pentacles is still under here. Someone's taking action on a new opportunity here. There's there's three opportunities. Knight of Cups, Knight of... There's a lot of proposals here. So, you know, this could be all the way around. This could be someone taking some opportunity that does bring to... bring Lead to abundance, lead to uh, happiness here, joy. Because the Three of Cups is like a celebration, okay? It's, it's, it's about things coming together emotionally, things falling into alignment emotionally. Um, this is about creating, with the Three of Cups and the Food Energy, this is about creating some sort of abundance or creating some sort of a joy within a situation. Someone has to focus their desires. Yes, someone is very driven. The King of Wands is a snake charmer. Someone is very driven. This could be someone that is sexually driven, but King of Swords may be delayed with their words because they have deep feelings, but they want to win. They don't want to lose. So it's like, I have these feelings that I need to express, but I want to make sure that they're going to be reciprocated before I fucking express these feelings. So until I know for sure that this person feels the same way, I'm just going to shut the fuck up. But here, someone's taking a leap of faith here and sending some sort of message and star, they're going to gain wish fulfillment. Star is under there. There's wish fulfillment with that ace of pentacles. They're going to gain this opportunity. So we got Sagittarius energy here. We have... Uh, air sign energy here with the king of swords that's gemini libra and aquarius we have moon sign energy here that's cancerian energy also taurus is exalted by the moon we have the cancer the uh chariot here for cancer again we have uh libra aries capricorn and Cancer again. So cancer's here heavy. It's a lot of cancerian energy. And we have Aquarian energy here. All right. So if you guys would like to watch the extended of this, hop on over to the wise ones and the extended will be under there. By the time I, I load this, both of them be, will be developed, will be available. So let's and thank you to everyone um for your prayers, for your your, you know, when you send condolences and all that. I appreciate that a lot. Um, I did not answer them because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm still trying to process this. Like my cousin is away from me. She lives away from me. So I haven't, I haven't seen anything concrete. So it's almost like I haven't fully accepted it. You get what I'm saying? It's just like, I've been told this, but I don't know if I've really rap. Like I know but it's like I, I haven't processed it yet. I'm still processing. So let's see here. What messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? 
Meditate and contemplate. You are very close to achieving your goal. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So this has been tough on someone. These emotions, these feelings have been tough on someone. Yeah, your hard work's paying off. You are <laughs> these two popped out as well. It says you are good enough and a new romantic cycle begins. So this is, I'm telling you, this is someone that is afraid to reciprocate energy. Maybe they're self-conscious or maybe they're cautious because maybe they feel like, you know, I don't know, maybe they messed up previously or, or maybe there was just a lot of delays or maybe they've just been hurt in the past. But it's like someone has to know that they're good enough, that whatever they're feeling is actually reciprocated from the person that they're feeling before they'll take a leap of faith. So let's see here what messages, what guidance do we have? Enlightenment. Someone's going to become enlightened. Creativity here. Enlightenment with creativity. Someone's going to become enlightened on this situation very soon here. In consisting of enlightened is to become brightened, to become brighter. In essence, to become enlightened is to become brighter within because the light is already within you. You are the light. So someone's going to realize something and take a leap of faith. Maybe it's like this could have been this could be a situation where two people have just been talking situationship I don't know and someone may have been afraid to speak their truth because it's never been spoken but y'all still you're still here you know what I'm saying so this is all I have like I said if you guys would like to um see the extended read to this you can hop on over to the wise ones but until next time